I wonder if we can find out the secrets of good gardening. Some of you won't have gardens, but some of you may. And some of you will have planted things in school, in pots or in jars. There are so many programs about gardening, both for children and adults. What sort of things have you grown? Have you grown this? Or maybe this? I don't think you'll have grown this, but it's possible. Hmm, less likely. Everything you've grown at home or at school, has it been a success or have there been some failures? Some plants that didn't grow? Jesus tells a story about a gardener, and this gardener is the best gardener of all. He's better than Alan Titchmarsh, Charlie Dimmock, or Monty Don. This gardener, the fruit he produces, would win every prize at the Chelsea Flower Show because he's the best gardener ever. And more than anything, he has the best plant, which will never wither or die. Whom am I talking about? Well, the gardener is God the Father. As Jesus said to his disciples, I am the true vine and my Father is the gardener. Jesus is the vine the eternal Son of God. He was there before the world began. No storms, rain, ice, excessive heat, or other hazards which would harm any ordinary plant can harm this vine. Nothing can cause this vine to die, because Jesus is now forever back with the Father in heaven. But Jesus also says the vine is not on its own. The vine has branches, as Jesus said, I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. The branches are his people, the church, whatever your age, wherever in the world you come from. Isn't it great to be connected to the vine, connected to Jesus? You belong to Jesus and you can draw on his life just as the branches draw on the vine. But the branches of a vine also bear fruit. Now what does that mean? It is said in the Bible that there are nine kinds of fruit that all come from the same vine. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Are you bearing fruit in your life? Sometimes on the vine, there are branches which are broken off or not connected. What happens to them? They wither. They don't produce any fruit. As Jesus says, if you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. How can we get this fruit? The only way to get it is to draw on the vine, the trunk of the tree. That means depending on Jesus day after day after day, staying connected to Jesus by speaking to him, asking him to help you in all your situations. It can be very easy when not seeing Jesus to lose your connection with him like a branch that doesn't bear fruit because it is not connected to the vine. Let's make sure that we stay connected to Jesus, trusting him and living for him every day. And now, let's sing about that. <laughs>